You need something? St. John. This is Mark Copeland at Deacon St. John. Hey, Cope. What's up? Just checking in. A couple of my men were up to the top of O'Leary Mountain the other day. Said they found a safe house set up in an old Forest Service watchtower. Is that right? Yes, sir. That's what I'm told. They said it was abandoned, but funny thing. Whoever lived there left behind a bike. Good shape, too, by the sound of it. Really? Indeed. That's not the funny thing. The funny thing is they went back up there today to pick it up, but the bike was gone. Now, ain't that a hit scratcher? Look, Copus is all really fascinating, but, uh... Now, hold on. Here's the fascinating part. They swear that old bike, well, it looked a lot like the one a boozer used to ride. Okay, so let me get this straight, Cope. You guys went up to O'Leary Mountain. You found what you thought was Boozer's bike. And the first thing you thought of was, hey, why don't we just go back and steal it? Salvage, Deke. Salvage. But no, that was my second thought. My first was, whatever happened to old Boozer? Manny says he hasn't seen him around for some time. I don't know, Cope. Next time I see him, I'll let him know how much you miss him. St. John out! Yeah, Addie, what's up? Can you stop by the infirmary when you get a chance? Anything wrong? No, I just need to talk to you. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. God damn it. Let me get you out of there. Hey, hey, it's not safe out here in the shit. I know where there's a camp that... Camp? Where? Where? Show me. I'll go. Peaceful Lake. Mark Copeland. It's safe there. I, 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 was, I was done for. Holy shit! You know? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Tell him it was St. John, Deacon. They know who I am. Keep your head down and run. Okay. Open up. What do you want? Deke, we got a real problem on our hands. You remember Richard Marsden? He used to ride for us. 
Oh, you mean Rick the Prick Marsden? Yeah, I remember him. I thought Al Kai ran him out of camp. He did. But oh, I guess Marsden wasn't too happy about it. He joined a group of drifters down at the Black Crater, led an attack against a supply run. We lost three men. Ah, oh, shit. I never liked that son of a bitch anyway. I'll take care of him. Oh, thanks, Deke. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> See you around. Why aren't you working? I get to it. Stop screwing around. Just a sec. Gotta open the gate. Bounties. Gotta kill them all. Every last one of these murdering sons and bitches. Is that it? How do you like it now? Bring him low! Fight! Come on! Must fall back! 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 Someone's here. Here, catch! Ah! 
Released! Men! The last! Marauder! You son of a bitch, where are you going, huh? Come on out. Come on, come on, come on. Move back! Bring him low. Okay. Always need scrap. Moving. Now. Ah! All right, one more left. That's it. You're done. How do you like that, huh? Being ambushed, you like that? You murdering sons of bitches. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It's the Wild West again. And some men are acting like law and order are a thing of the past. But last I checked, this is still the United States of America. And in America, the right of property shall not be infringed. We have the right to claim territory, to hold it, and to defend it. Sure, we took this land from the Indians. No point in rewriting history, but we took it by force. And force is the only thing that will move us now. We're not gonna roll over for a bunch of bullies. If the feds, or rippers, or marauders think they're gonna come rolling into my wilderness, they got another thing coming. The strongest survive, the strongest take, 
and the strongest will succeed. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. That's not the Cope Law and Order or a thing of the past. What the hell are you talking about? But yeah, you got a point about force being the only thing that matters now. Force and a lot of goddamn ammo. All right, Rick the Prick, Marsden, where the hell are you? Uh, you're out here somewhere. Low on ammo. Yeah. Oh shit, where'd you boys come from? Where's that coming from? You got me! You got me! Not like this, you deserve to die, Rick the Prick.
that you're here for your bike, right? What do you want? Hey, Tuck, got you a new hat. <laughs> nice job. Did he put up much of a fight? So, uh, do I get paid more if he did? No. Then why do you care? Just enjoying the thought of how much the son of a bitch suffered before he bled out. Well, Jesus, Tuck, I don't do this shit for your entertainment. 